So Descript has an AI-driven eye contact function. Let's see how it works. If you're new here, hi, my name is Meredith. I'm here to help you look good, sound good, and feel good on camera. And I'll be honest, when I first saw that they came out with this eye contact feature, I was very skeptical. One, because I thought there's no possible way that AI is going to make it look like I'm authentically looking at the camera, right? Like it just seems like too good to be true. And two, because I've been helping people figure out how to talk to a camera naturally and authentically. And we have really affordable, accessible teleprompters these days where we can put our script right on a screen and look directly at our camera while we're reading at the same time. So do we really need an AI driven eye contact feature? We're about to find out. Now, if you see some weird shadows over here, maybe possibly over this shoulder, I'm recording directly into Descript with my Canon M50 Mark II going through my Rode Streamer X. And for some reason, it does this weird shadowy thing. What a weird little bug. So right now I'm recording into Descript. I'm looking directly at my camera. There's no funny business happening here. I'm like locked eyes with you. And the idea with this AI eye contact, it's like weird to say. The idea behind the AI eye contact thing is that I could be looking over here at my desktop where I have a script and I could read my script and then I would know exactly what words to say and the script is going to be able to detect where my eyes should be looking which should be straight at the camera although literally right now as these words are coming out of my mouth I'm looking directly at my screen and not my camera so Let's see how this works. Oh, no hate to the AI here, but like watching this back, it's kind of weird. It's it's kind of weird. So we're going to we're going to do a take 2 on the whole eye contact thing. So before I try this again, let me just show you exactly how this works because it's actually really simple and easy. So if I have a spot here on the screen where I know I'm not looking at the camera or I want to have this eye contact feature work, all I have to do is basically select the clip and then down here under effects, I'm going to go to eye contact and it's going to take a few minutes. The longer your clip, obviously, the longer this is going to take. And once it's done, doing its calculations, then you can turn it on and off here with this toggle switch over here on the right hand side. Okay, so let's try something a little bit different. I'm going to look down instead of over at my desktop. I'm looking down, I'm a little, uh, b little below where my camera lens is. So right now I'm looking down. If I had a computer monitor or an iPad or something with my script on it down here, um, I could, I could see how maybe this would be easier than if I, my eyes were like over there looking. So I don't know. Let's, let's see what happens. And this might be one of those things where I can tell because it's my face, but maybe you can't tell. Let me know if it looks real and authentic down in the comments. And after doing a couple of tests, I think I noticed that it works best if the script that you're reading is as close to your lens as you can get. You can see in this example I just showed you, I was looking down just down below where my lens is instead of over at my desktop where my script would normally be. I also think it works best when you have like the best possible lighting. And if you're, I mean, this sounds like kind of silly, but if your eyes are open and everything is like light and bright around your well lit, I think that's how the eye contact feature can detect your face and your eyes the best. So good lighting, open <laughs> eyes. Again, this sounds like such a silly thing to say. Of course, your eyes are going to be open, but if you're already kind of squinting or if you have glasses with a bit of a glare or something, I could see how the AI is just not going to really be able to do what you want it to do. Now, I think making constant unbreakable eye contact with a lens is kind of weird. You can see that when I'm not using the eye contact feature, or if I'm just talking 
you know, off script. I'm not reading something right now. Um, I'm, I'm not constantly making eye contact because that's not authentic. That's not real. That's not how we normally have a conversation or talk to people. And so I, I wish there was a way for this tool to like find a balance. So this is a pretty cool tool for people who feel like they absolutely have to read from a script in order to create a YouTube video. But it's like a little overboard. It's a little extra. And so if you are like a client or student of mine, I would say if you're planning to use this eye contact tool, I would use it sparingly and don't make it a crutch. Because to be honest, talking to a camera is not natural. It never has been. Nobody was born knowing how to do it. It's a skill that you develop, but you only develop that skill when you do it, right? And when you're out in the real world talking to real people, you're not reading from a script. So I don't think viewers on YouTube really expect this like constant eye contact. And it might even set this like a weird uh, sort of expectation that in order to be successful or create videos, you have to constantly lock eyes with the lens or memorize a script or something. But if this eye contact feature in Descript helps you make videos, get them published, and make them faster so that you can grow your audience, then yeah, I guess it works. It works. Now, if you do use Descript to create YouTube videos, did you know that the fastest, most powerful way to grow your audience on YouTube is by building a library of binge-worthy videos. Descript makes it really easy to do that because it is so quick and easy to record and edit videos without having to use super fancy software. But there's a specific strategy that I use that I teach my clients and students for building that library of videos so that they are bingeable and the people who find you on YouTube actually hit subscribe and watch more of your videos. So if you're curious about how that works, I will link that video up for you here to watch next.